Hey guys, today we're gonna to show you how to make a clap switch. The things you need are two BC five four seven transistors and any five a five timer, a hundred UF capacitor, two zero point one UF capacitors, an electric condenser microphone. The one with the terminal with the spots is the negative terminal and the one without spots is the positive terminal and so you need to solder it just like I have done a 1k resistor 6.8k resistor you can also use a 4.7k resistor instead of this 470e resistor 330E resistor and a 47K resistor. You need an LED, a 9 volt battery, a 9 volt battery clip, some wires, and the breadboard. We start by inserting the NE555 timer and the two transistors on the breadboard. We connect the emitters of both the transistors to the negative rail of the breadboard. We connect the 6.8K resistor from the base of the first PC547 transistor to the negative rail of the breadboard. We connect the 1K resistor from the collector of the first BC54 transistor to the positive rail of the breadboard. We connect the collector of the first BC547 transistor to the base of the second BC547 transistor. We connect the 470 ohm resistor from the collector of the second BC547 transistor to the positive rail of the breadboard. We connect pin 1 of the any 555 timer to the negative rail of the breadboard. We connect pin 4 and pin 8 of the timer to the negative rail of the breadboard. Connect pin 6 of the any 555 timer to pin 7 of the any 555 timer. Connect the 47K resistor from pin 6 or 7 of the any 555 timer to the positive rail of the breadboard. Insert the 100 UF capacitor on the breadboard with its positive terminal connected to pin 6 of the any 555 timer. Connect the negative terminal of the 100 UF capacitor to the negative rail of the breadboard. Insert the 0.1 UF capacitor on the breadboard with one of its terminals connected to pin 5 of the timer and the other terminal connected to the negative rail of the breadboard.
Insert the other 0.1 UF capacitor on the breadboard with one of its terminals connected to pin 2 of the 555 timer. Connect the other terminal of the 0.1 UF capacitor to the collector of the second VC547 transistor. Now we insert the LED on the breadboard. The longer terminal of the LED is the anode and the shorter terminal is the cathode. We connect pin 3 of the timer to the anode or the positive terminal of the LED using the 330 ohm resistor. Connect the cathode of the LED to the negative rail of the breadboard. Now we insert the condenser on the breadboard. Please make sure that you insert the negative terminal to the base of the first BC547 transistor and the positive terminal to the positive rail of the breadboard. The negative terminal is the one which has spots marked. So now we insert the two terminals on the breadboard. We connect the 9V battery to the 9V battery clip and we plug in the power source and a clap switch is ready. The duration for which the LED remains on in this case is around about 6 seconds. This is because the capacitor we have used is the 100 UF capacitor. If we use the 0.1 UF capacitor, the duration will be quite less. So we see that the duration of the LED is directly proportional to the capacitance of the capacitor used. Now if we use a 10 UF capacitor, We see that the duration is a bit more than that of the 0.1 UF capacitor but less than the 100 UF capacitor. So more the capacitance of the capacitor used, longer will be the duration of Guys, the LED. please don't confuse this circuit with the clap on, clap off circuit. That is a completely different circuit. So here is a last look at the breadboard. Okay guys, best of luck. Please like and subscribe. Peace out.